update tonight on one of the young women in our area living her life with stage four breast cancer. We all agree she's a brave woman fighting on a battlefield where she's watching all her fellow soldiers, soldiers fall beside her. 4029's Kelly Johnson has a story you'll only see on 4029. No evidence of active disease. NEAD is the abbreviation for it. Doesn't mean that I'm cured just means that the cancer is sleeping. Kelly Parker is a wife, a mother, that we first introduced you to a year ago. She has been diagnosed with stage four breast cancer for almost three years now. Whatever peace she feels when her scans come back stable is short-lived in the face of statistics. Last Christmas was my third Christmas with metastatic breast cancer. A metastatic breast cancer patient lives 33 months on average, my last. As I approach my 35th birthday, April the 6th, I'm acutely aware of the same. It's my third birthday with metastatic breast cancer and statistically speaking, my last. Kelly also sees the sobering reality in her large social network of other men and women with metastatic cancer, like her friend Patricia Woolridge of Lowell. She was the longest term of us in this area, five years metastatic, which is the 20 percentile, right? That's, you know, kind of the dream. I've watched her in the past month and a half go from strong, vibrant, stable, to they just brought her into hospice on Monday. It's just it's a sobering reminder of just how quickly things can change. We recorded this interview not even two weeks ago, and Maybe since that, then, so. Patricia, a mother, grandmother, and wife of 32 years, has passed away. According to the nonprofit Metaviver, 30% of all men and women with breast cancer will go on to metastasize, which is when the cancer spreads to other parts of the body, deeming it stage four or terminal. This can be the case even for those like Kelly, who caught their cancer early. I've been a breast cancer survivor twice, you know, kicked its butt, the whole thing, that raw, raw pink ribbon, you know, lifestyle. And um, that now I had to live with it, now I, I had, I'd lost. And that, that was devastating to me. Metavivor says while this affects almost a third of all breast cancer patients, only 2% of research funding is going toward metastatic research, which is one of the things this organization and all of its advocates like Kelly are working to change. There's no telling when progression is going to show up, so we need to be thinking about that next treatment and be doing that research um, and the advocacy in the short term so we can be ready for when that next treatment drug uh, is necessary for us. This year alone, Kelly has marched alongside other metastatic breast cancer patients in Washington. She has earned a standing ovation for sharing her story on Capitol Hill, she spoke with lawmakers, began writing a book, and has co-founded one of the largest stage four fundraisers in the nation, the Metzgerade, benefiting Metaviver. The mantra she follows is not today, something a fellow metastatic woman shared with her. She said, I acknowledge Kelly, the metastatic breast cancer will take your life one day. But today is not that day. <laughs> and today, you get your butt out of bed, you go to work, you talk to people, you listen, and you make a difference. So today's not my day. Tomorrow's not looking so good either. Metaviver says 113 people, just like Pat, die every single day from metastatic cancer. That would be like a plane full of people crashing every day. You can help them find a treatment to extend their lives by attending an event coming up April 8th. It is the Metzgerade. It's a night of dinner, dancing, silent and live auctions at the John Q. Hammond Center, all benefiting Metaviver. 4029 is a very proud partner. We hope you will join us. You can visit www.nwamets.org to find your tickets. I'm Kelly Johnson, 4029 News.